Hey, welcome to Mainland Cycle Center's new vehicle department. Today I want to show you a 2012 Kawasaki Ninja 1000. Now, new for 2012, they introduced the ABS model uh, anti lock brakes on the Ninja 1000, and this is an ABS model Ninja 1000. Uh, obviously, this is in the candy lime green, the metallic spark black. Great color combination. You know, the Ninja 1000 is a very cool bike. Uh, it's a great street bike. Uh, it's got a little better seating ergonomics than the pure super sports like the ZX10R, ZX6R. Uh, so it's a little more uh, comfortable. Uh, but then it also still has all of the cool stuff that you'd want in a sport bike. Meaning this bike has an aluminum chassis. So it's an aluminum frame. It has the inverted front forks. Radially mounted four piston calipers. Uh, it just really has everything that you want in a sport bike. Uh, so just a great street bike. Especially with the ABS brakes. It's really great on the street. But, uh, uh, let's look at some of this stuff on here. So you've got your inverted front forks there. Now what do we mean by the inverted front forks? And A lot of times when you look at bikes you'll see this chrome fork uh, it's tube and it part is, that part is clamped up here. And the big aluminum part is down at the bottom. Now this one is kind of flipped. The big heavy aluminum part is at the top. That makes this fork more rigid so there's less flex in the front fork and that's why they do that. And then this has what's called, uh, it has four piston calipers. So what that means is that there's uh, two pistons on each side of the caliper. So there's a piston here and a piston here inside the caliper, of course. And then if you look at the back, I'm going to show you the back of this one over here, there's two more pistons. So it's really clamping from both sides. Uh, and when they do that, it also lets them rigid mount that caliper as opposed to have this caliper on a sliding bracket and everything which really gives you good brake feel. So, just fantastic brakes on this bike with the four piston Tokugo ca uh, calipers. And then you have the pedal style rotors, so there's little cuts in the rotors. Uh, these allow for more surface area to dissipate heat. That's what that's about. Your suspension is adjustable. These of course are liquid cooled. There's your radiator. This has an inline four cylinder motor, and these are actually 1,043 cc's, so almost a 1050. So, a little more extra displacement to really help with that low end power and torque. And these are tuned for more power and torque in the mid range, and they kind of have a nice hard hit, right about 7,000 RPMs. Um, and so, they really ride good. They're a really fast motorcycle, definitely no slouch. But an inline four. Now this doesn't have ram air. It's probably the biggest difference between this and maybe a ZX10R motor-wise. Uh, there's no ram air with these. Now it has what Kawasaki is calling a cold air intake, which just means that they're intaking air higher where it's cooler air coming in. And as we know, cooler air makes more performance than hot air. Uh, that's the whole point of nitrous. Nitrous cools the air down. But uh, to get your rear brake, you got a single piston caliper, and again. Uh, you got four, two four piston calipers on the front. That's because the front is where all your stopping power is. And in the back, just a single piston caliper. It's pretty standard. Again, you've got the pedal style rotors with the cuts. There's your tr your pickup for the ABS brakes, a wheel sensor. And there's a trigger right there. This has the eccentric uh, uh, chain adjusters on them here. So to adjust this chain, basically uh, loosen up this pitch bolt here, stick an Allen wrench in here. And that you do, look, you got to loosen the pinch bolt on the other side too, and then this whole deal will rotate there. This has what's called a horizontal back link shock. So you can kind of see the shock is laying this way horizontal. Same way we're doing the new ZX10. It's got the grab handles on the back. Now, this bike's not serviced, so I'm not going to be able to show you all the things that are on the instrumentation, but uh, got an analog tachometer, and it's going to have a digital readout for speedometer, fuel gauge, um, gear position, those type of things, odometers, trip meters, clock, all that stuff. Uh, your ignition switch, key switch there. 
Now one of the things that these have is they have a little button right here you push and then that lets you adjust this windshield. So this windshield will move up and down. It's hard for me to do one handed and shoot video but uh, anyway that windshield adjusts up and down there which is nice. Uh, it does have the radial style master cylinder which just means that when you push this brake this way it's actually working a piston this way so it just gives you a better feel on that master cylinder a uh, little larger seat a little more seat than what we have on the ZX-10 again for more comfort LED rear tail light clear turn signal lenses your clutch uh, high and low beam uh, hazard lights turn signals horn engine kill and then your start button this is a performance motorcycle so I do recommend 90 plus octane fuel on these yeah, this has the uh, it's called a 4 into 2 into 1 into 2 exhaust system with these four exhaust outlets and those are really uh, they, they come from the Z1000. This bike is loosely based on Z1000, but has the full fairings. Uh, but it's kind of in Kawasaki's heritage to have these four exhaust outlets on the four-cylinder bike. And if you look back at the 1970s, especially the 73 KZ900, uh, the Z1 had those four exhaust pipes, four mufflers. So that's kind of why you have those four exhaust outlets to kind of mimic that history and that uh, uh, some of that Kawasaki history there all right well there you go guys that's a quick look at the 2012 Ninja 1000 ABS model with anti-lock brakes all right we are mainland cycle center and we're located about 30 minutes south of downtown houston just off of i-45 in lamarck texas our website is mainlandcyclecenter.com our phone number is 409-948-4969 hey thanks for watching our video give us a call shoot us an email come by and see us let us know how we can help